What's up guys? How you all doing? Today I'm going to show you six credit card gadgets. Let's check this out. The first gadget I got here, a comb or coma, whatever you call it. You know what? It's not like I can use it on my head, but I guess it's pretty good for my beard. So you know what? That gadget is actually pretty useful to me as well. That actually feels pretty nice to comb my beard. Who knows, maybe I'll go around even more. Wow, feels pretty good. Also, I really like that it's really small. That way you can stick it into your wallet. No problem, boom. For this credit card survival gadget, you got here a couple different sizes of wrenches. I, I don't know what this is, I think it's supposed to be like a rope cutter or something like that. And there is bottle opener. I don't understand why they keep putting bottle openers on these gadgets because you can pretty much open glass bottles pretty much with anything. But overall, I thought it was pretty cool design and looks awesome. I doubt I would ever use it. Only I would use it for comb maybe, but I don't even have any hair. But you know what? It's really slim and it fits the wallet really, really easily as well. Boom. For this credit card gadget, I really like the design. That monkey face is pretty cool. But once again, I do not understand why would you waste so much space on a bottle opener. You pretty much can open a bottle with anything you want to. and wasting so much space i don't think it's a good idea if anything you can open a bottle with the with the, any edge of this card there is a range one four ten nine six and four different type of sizes and this side here is supposed to be if you put credit card in and it becomes in a credit card cell phone holder I don't think i would ever use it what's cool is that here is two little screwdrivers that's pretty important to have and sometimes very useful. And on this side, there is a ruler. Overall, I kind of don't understand most of these uh, tools and why would I even use it except the little screwdrivers. Maybe a bottle opener, but there's plenty of other ways to open a bottle. You know what? That's a cool design. Well, let's check out the next. Let's stick this one in the wallet too. I like how the small they are and they fit into the wallet really easily. Okay, this right here looks promising. This actually looks awesome. I really love the wolf. Looks like just my huskies. So to open it, you gotta push it right here. Boom. So which is kind of cool. So kids might not be able to open it. And like seen over here. Wow, look at that. I really like this gadget because this knife is pretty durable looks like anyways. It feels really sharp as well. Let's try to cut a piece of paper with this. Once again, you push it over here to close it and boom, it locks in. Wow, this is so cool. The difference between this knife than any other ones, you see here there is no pins. It just kind of joined together. That way they're able to make it really, really skinny. Also, that knife, there is a way to take it off. Can't really figure it out how to take it off, but there is a way. Looks like on this side right here, there's a two screwdrivers, if I'm not mistaken. And that's pretty much it. So you pretty much get a knife, then you have a screwdrivers and then an inch ruler. That's it. And you know what I also love about this credit card gadget? It's really easy to put it in your wallet and fits really, really well. It doesn't bulk out that much at all. For this credit card gadget, it's kind of really thick credit card. Probably would be like three credit card combined. But what it is, it's a knife and fork. How cool is that? This is perfect for camping. There's also three different sizes of wrenches and a bottle opener. Once again, we can just open a bottle with the knife, with the side of the knife. We don't need a bottle openers. Open bottles is so easy. They keep putting these bottle openers on the gadgets. I don't think they're very necessary at all. But this is very durable knife. As you can see, it's pretty thick, so it's not going to break on you. And it feels like it can cut stuff really, really well. Look at that. 
here it comes in black as well awesome i love that so next time i got my lunch but i forgot my knife and a fork boom i'm gonna pull this out look you can even put it on your finger use it as a weapon against i don't know if somebody attacks you or animal attacks you that way you can protect yourself the only minus about it it's so thick it probably can barely fit into the wallet or when it does it's going it's going to bulk up your wallet so much yep you see it sticks out quite quite a bit versus this ones this knife is so much smaller than this one and the last credit card gadget right here we got we have here headphones wrap so i guess you could put it on like this and wrap your headphones around like that um i guess it's cool but i don't know it's kind of getting bulky i wish it was from here to the end of the card so that way when we wrap it around there's not kind of sticking out so much wire ah uh, not my favorite Okay, this one was actually can opener, so when you like, I guess, soda pop opener, so you don't break your nails, and this is bottle opener. Honestly, the last two things that you need is can opener and a bottle opener, and they take up so much space in that card. Right here is a letter opener and a screwdriver, that's actually really, really cool. So I really love the box opener, letter opener, this is two, two of my favorites. And also there is a screwdriver at the tip side here. And right here if you put the credit card in or like some kind of plastic card too, and that becomes a cell phone stand. Could be used quite a bit with the box opener and letter opener. I like it that it's really really tiny, so it fits the wallet easily as well. I don't think it's much of a survival gadget. I think it's mostly like day-to-day -day things like opening boxes, hold your cell phone, stand up your smartphone. So I really like those ones. I think they're cool, but I wish they would make even better ones that you can actually use it a lot in the survival station. Well guys, let me know what do you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.